हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ओके द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स व्हाट आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ एक्टोपिक यूरेटरिक ऑरिफिस सो एक्टोपिक यूरेटरिक ऑरिफिस क्लिनिकल फीचर्स मेनली डिपेंड्स अपॉन द साइट ऑफ साइट ऑफ द एक्टोपिक यूरेटरल ऑरिफिस इन फीमेल्स हैज आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड इट इज मोस्टली सीन ऑन द एंटीरियर यूरेथ्रा और वेजाइना और वेस्टिब्यूल सी दैट मीन्स इन द फीमेल्स इट इज मोस्टली प्रेजेंट आफ्टर द एक्सटर्नल यूरेथ्रल स्पिंटर okay so this is after the external urethral sphincter so as a result there will be continuous incontinence of the urine is seen in the females there is continuous incontinence of the urine is seen along with normal voiding why is there normal voiding because even if one ureter opens in ectopic position whereas the other ureter opens in the normal position resulting in filling of bladder and thus the there is only continuous dibbling is present along with normal voiding then if this is if the ureter opens into the vagina then there can be persistent vaginal discharge is also seen if the vagina if it opens into the vagina second in males the most common presentation in males is urinary tract infection see in the males the ureteric corifice is present somewhere here sorry external urethral sphincter is present and mostly in males there is never incontinence there is always it is due to urinary tract infection incontinence is not present in males incontinence is only and only a feature in females so in males there is no incontinence in males there can be recurrent epididymo orchitis can occur in the males and if there is epididymo orchitis is seen or epididymitis is seen in a prepubertal boy then ectopic ureter can be ruled out so these are the clinical features then in the complications the ectopic ureter may be obstructed this ectopic ureter is obstructed severely and this will result in massive hydronephrosis can occur if the ectopic ureter is obstructed so this is one complication then diagnosis diagnosis is in the diagnosis if you do an intravenous pyelography you will see a sign called has drooping lily sign is seen on intravenous pyelography that is in intravenous pyelography uh, in drooping drooping lily sign it see this drooping lily sign occurs when the upper pole of the ureter displaces the lower pole of the ureter see this is the lower pole ureter which is draining into the bladder whenever there is atrophy of the upper ureteric pole okay because of this in the upper pole ureter you will see that it will open has ureteral seal downwards and there is the end the opening of the ureteral seal is so small that this upper pole ureter may undergo hydronephrosis and it can undergo impaction in such cases this upper pole ureter will not be filled with the dye only the lower pole ureter fills with the dye so this lower pole ureter if it fills with the dye like this it looks like a drooping lily flower so it is called has drooping lily sign then then if you see the treatment treatment is in most of the cases expectant treatment is mainly done for most of the cases and we can also do a ureteric implantation can be done ureteric reimplantation can be done or upper pole nephrectomy can be done upper pole nephrectomy is done if the upper pole has been necrotized and in such cases we can do upper pole nephrectomy with ureteric implantation can be done Thank you and thank you for watching.